get started. Again, we are waiting for one more learner, but we'll jump in. And I want to go ahead and give the caveat of this seminar is for you. So we do have a lot of background slides, but my goal is to answer any questions you have, to talk about any scenarios, any concerns. So feel free to just raise your hand or take yourself off mute and we can talk about things. Or you can also chat things into me at any time. I do monitor the chat feature as we go through this. So our class today is final ICHG CPE 6 R2. Now with that said, R3 is in the works. So we'll be talking about what is our current best practices, but with the caveat that by 2021, we should have a new set of guidances released, which will expand upon the management of risk. And the focus in the new version is really gonna be to look at trial design and the fact that there's a number of different ways that we can do studies. And the goal is going to be to start design trials and manage the monitoring that is proportionate to the risk. It's really going to be the risk language focus for ICHE 6 R3 according to their business proposal or their business plan. So we won't be talking about that a lot today because the basic concepts will remain the same. To manage risk to identify what could go wrong and what we can do about it. And then this next version hopefully will give us a little bit more guidance in terms of unique trial designs. So my background is that I've been in the industry for well over 20 years at this point, and I've worked for a number of different sponsors, CROs. I've done a number of quality assurance audits. I've worked with the FDA for pre and post inspections. I've been a clinical program leader, a director of clinical operations, and we'll try to make everything very practical, very approachable and real in terms of the challenges that we face within the industry. So for today's session, we'll talk about the learning objectives. I want to know a little bit about your background and your reasons for attending today's class. We will talk about the quality management risk-based approaches in clinical trials. We'll review ICHGCPE 6 Revision 2, focusing on sponsor responsibilities and the risk management section. The end-to-end -end process for how we identify what we need to focus on in our studies. We have a few suggestions for successful implementation, and then we'll wrap up today's class. Today we will be here for approximately two hours. Our learning objectives to describe two new requirements for the sponsor's quality management of clinical trials, to identify two approaches to achieve compliance with quality management for the clinical trial life cycle, and to determine next steps for evaluation and implementation of the new requirements. Starting with people with experience and saying, hey, tell me about some of the problems you faced is a great approach. And again, I think it was quality assurance in that organization who really helped the phase one teams drill down into what risk can we identify? And then once we identify it, what do we put in place to proactively identify it as it's happening so we can mitigate it? And then preemptively identify what our tiered approaches might be. So we'll talk about that a little bit more as we go through the class. 